So we are almost at the end of our unboxing. We've done Zombicide, Reboot, Hendrix, ZC. Big pile of extras. Extra player cards or boards. The upgrade set. So as I said before, sometimes there's more than just six of us playing or we've got more than six characters on the go. So these we thought would be really useful. So you get your board, your colour bases, your trackers and your mini cards, some equipment. So really good quality. As I say, same as the main box. Just love this to make it so much better that you don't run the risk of fraying the cards. Let's hope they're underneath. There we go. Underneath you have some equipment cards. Your base colours. So obviously some of these are going to be the same. I'm, I'm assuming that these six are the same colours that you, that you get into the main box. If that's the case, then it's going to be a choice of two of you rather than six of you. Nice lot of good quality cards there. So that is your extra players box. The zombie companions upgrade kit. Zombies and companions. So if you own any of these from the first set, you'd want this one because you can then use them in this game. So we have some abominations. I have Toxic, I have Berserker, I have Skinner, I have Seeker, I have Dogs. My friend has Crows, I've got VIPs, I've got loads of Lost Zombie Vores, loads of Companion cards uh, and more Abom Abomination Spawn cards. So as you can see, the change of artwork and the uses of them for um, this game just means that you haven't got to waste all those boxes and the paint jobs you've done on them if you've done them before. So that is your Zombies and Companions upgrade kit. Contents wise, you have a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. So there's your Skinner Walker, see the change. So artwork wise, and then also how many are spawning each level. And your standard or a toxic abomination. So same rules as it would apply to your normal toxic abomination, but obviously the artwork and made for this version of the game. Et voila.